Hello everybody and welcome back to another lesson from Study English Anywhere. Today's lesson is the difference between there is and there are. So we are going to separate between there is, there are. What is the difference? When do we use one? When do we use the other? So let's put it like this. Positive, negative, question, and let's put at the end, the answer, okay? So, when it's singular, there is only one, yeah? There is only one, we're going to use there is, yeah? So, only one, and on the other side, more than one. Only one, more than one. So, there is more than one, there are, okay? What about the negative? There isn't or is not. You can say is not when you write, but when you speak, there isn't when you speak, okay? The other side, there are not, but when you speak, there aren't, okay? Question, there is, swap it round, is there. Question, there are, are, there. Okay, that's with the question. What about the answer? Well, the answer in the positive, there is. The negative, there isn't, okay? This is how we answer, but we might add something new. So, yes, there is. No, there isn't. And on the other side, yes, there are. And no, there aren't. Okay. So, this is how we use each one. So, let's create a sentence so you can understand a little bit better. So, there is, let's say, a big tree next to my house. There is a big tree next to my house. A big tree, only one. So there is. What about there are? There are a lot of students in my school. There are a lot of students in my school. Students, not one, but one, maybe 10, 20, a lot. Students, more than one, so therefore, there are. That's why we use the difference between there is and there are. What about the negative? Okay, let's try this. There isn't any There isn't any, we use any here when we use the negative, okay? There isn't any, and let's go with there isn't any water in the cup. Water, not more than one. Water, you cannot count. You cannot say one water, two water, three water, impossible. So then it's only one. There isn't, and when we have negative, we like to use any. There isn't any. It's an extra thing to use, but it's very good. Try it here. There aren't 
any, let's try it again. We have any and any, both of them. There aren't any pens in the bag. There aren't any pens in the bag. We can use any with pens. Okay? Now then, what about the next one? Question, is there? Is there, let's try something new. Is there a book in the classroom? Is there a book in the classroom? One book, so my question is, is there? Okay, are there? And again, we can use any, yeah? Are there? So let's ask, are there any drinks in the fridge? Are there any drinks in the fridge? Question for more than one. More than one. And the answer, is there a book in the classroom? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. On the other side, are there any drinks in the fridge? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Okay, let's have one more time. Okay, so there is and there are. On this side, only one, we use there is. If there is more than one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, more, then we use there are. For positive, there is a big tree next to my house. For negative, sorry, for more than one, there are a lot of students in my school. For negative, there isn't any water in the cup. There aren't any pens in the bag. Singular, plural, okay? Is there a book in the classroom? One. Are there any drinks in the fridge? More than one. Question, answer. Yes, there is. There is one. No, there isn't. There isn't one. Yes, there are. There are drinks. More than one. No, there aren't. There aren't drinks in the fridge. And this is the difference between there is and there are. Thank you very much. See you for the next lesson. Bye-bye.